What is a pump? Well, a pump, by the standard definition, is what happens when you're lifting and blood rushes to your muscles, swelling them up and making them hard rock pool party. But alas, young virgins, a pump is so much more than that. It's like king crab. Oh, when, you see, when you get a pump, you're becoming the biggest and best version of yourself for like, give or take two hours. Tops. A pump is instant gratification. A pump is the only thing in life that lets you know what you're doing is working. If everything you did to better yourself rewarded you with a fucking pump, then you bet your ass would be sobering up. Buying land that passes Malibu, ah, probably, probably be more respectful to women. Yeah! But it doesn't. So instead, you can find me here at the gym. Disrespecting these weights. Ray Rice! You slut. Oh, you fucking whore. A pump is seeing your future. When you see yourself with a pump, you want to be that big all the time. And then once you get that big, your pump gets even bigger. No matter how hard you try, you will never be as big as your pump. Your pump is like tomorrow, and you can never reach tomorrow, because once it's tomorrow, then it's today again. But you'll never stop chasing tomorrow, because you always want to live another day, and tomorrow never dies. Shit! Fuck, dude! Oh, I'm back. I think I just blacked out for a second there. Came. Came a little bit too. Blacked out and came. What was I saying? What is a pump? Oh, uh, oh shit, a pump? That's easy, dog. A pump is a boner for your entire body. A pump is instant confidence. Not to be confused with instant coffee. Or lasting confidence. Or lasting coffee, for that matter. A pump is an impossible chase. You are Captain Ahab, and your pump is Moby Dick. And your dick is your dick dick. Boop, 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 boop. A pump is hitting that mushroom with Mario and growing two sizes, but knowing that shit's gonna leave you before you get to the boss. AKA the fucking club. Arnold once said that a pump is like coming. Well, I actually come when I get a pump. And let me tell you, a pump is way better. A pump is like hitting the snooze button. Yeah, it feels great to dream for five more minutes, but at some point, you gotta wake up. A pump is winning the blood lottery, but it's a scratch off. And you won just enough for tomorrow's ticket. A pump is clicking on related videos while watching porn. Once you go down that rabbit hole, you'll never be satisfied with real life again. A pump is that always DTF chick that'll throw you some butt reps, but will never let you cuddle. A pump is getting a hug from your muscles. A pump is a theory of evolution proven in 90 minutes. Charles Bowen. A pump is seeing that one bicep vein right there under the right light and then telling people you compete. A pump is having a gangbang with just yourself. What's up? A pump is finishing third, but getting the gold medal. A pump is achieving muscular arousal from your own reflection. A pump is seeing God's dick, and then realizing it's yours. A pump is like driving a Lamborghini into Cleopatra's butt. It's like riding a horse made out of dragons. Sea biscuit, D biscuit. A pump is letting Jesus take the wheel while you rub one out and play Game Boy. Reps for Jesus. A pump is giving birth to a son and knowing he's gonna be good at sports. A pump is punching Jupiter with your dick and eating out the sun. There's nothing harder and there's nothing hotter. Oh, get it. A pump is riding two jet skis at once. Except one jet ski is a rhino farting lightning, and the other is two jet skis. Water sports. A pump is telling Morpheus to fuck off, railing the blue pill, realizing it's Viagra and Molly, aka Viagra, then crushing arms while you and your reflection double team Trinity. A pump is more addictive than breaking bad and actual mess. But I'm addicted to all three. Call me Walter Wait! Bisonberg! I'm the one who knocks! Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos every two weeks is about as honest as it's gonna get. I'm not even sure if we're gonna have one in two weeks, but. What else we got? Um, this month's Audible.com Cash Money Earbook of the Month is 
Follow the Drinking Gourd by Bernadine Conley. Gonna be honest with you, I went ahead and judged a book by its cover on this one. Uh, thought it was gonna be a book about getting shit-faced and taking hallucinogens at underground raves. Uh, turns out it's about slavery. Uh, kinda heavy stuff. Um, still a good read though. Well listen, whatever. It's narrated by Morgan Freeman, so that's good. Um, you know, I'd listen to a cat giving birth to a hammer if it were Morgan Freeman narrating that shit. But yeah, either way, I can relate to this book because I too had to use an underground railroad to escape the freedom. It was a subway and I was escaping a chick's apartment. Rail and bail. Hit up audible.com slash bro science life to get your free audiobook download. Audible.com slash bro science life. Join the club. The book club. Not like the nightclub. But, you know, we could definitely hit that up after. Let me know.